Hi. Welcome to my room. Now, you said that you wanted me to do your makeup. And I know that you normally don't wear makeup. And I don't wear much myself. But I'm very honored that you would come to me to play around with makeup a little bit. Um, let's see. I think we'll start with something pretty basic if that's okay. Makeup doesn't always have to be really glitzy or frivolous. I think that wearing makeup can be very empowering. You get to choose what features you want to accentuate, maybe your eyes, or you want to bring attention to your cheekbones, or your nose, or maybe your chin. But it can be very fun even if you don't go out for a night on the town afterwards. Um, like tonight, I think we'll probably just stay in after this. Great. Alright, so, you still ready to do this? Okay, awesome. So I think what we'll do is start with a little bit of foundation or cover-up. I have this. Maybelline Mineral Power. I'm not really that into makeup, but I do have all of the basics. So, what you usually do with this is you just put a little on your finger like this. You can rub it around. And then you kind of apply it wherever you think you need it, so I find I typically need it under my eyes because I was kind of born with bags under my eyes, I feel. <laughs> Can I put some on yours then? Okay, you tell me where you'd like it. Yeah, we can definitely try under your eyes as well. lean in if that's okay. Under your eye. And the other one. Okay. Great. Um, let's see. So next, I'm going to use this powder foundation. I'll use this brush right here. You can see it's not too big. It's got these bristles on the end. It's not very flat. So just put it around here until we get enough off the excess. I'm gonna put it on your forehead, down your nose, on your cheeks, and a little on your chin. Okay? Is that all right? Great. I'm gonna start with your forehead. Okay. I'm going to do some down your nose. Okay, and then the sides of your nose too. And your cheeks. Your other cheek. On your chin. Right. That kind of gives your skin a more even tone, so it covers up any redness or blemishes that you might have. It happens to everyone. We all get blemishes. Alright. So, do you want me to try some blush? 
It doesn't have to be scary hot pink or bright red blush. It can just be a little bit to make sure that you have a healthy glow with your skin. Here's the blush I'll use. Just go like that. Get a little on the brush. Tap off some extra. And just put it on the apples of your cheeks. So, can you smile? Like this? Okay. Great. It's not a lot, just a little. Makes your cheeks stand out a little more. Makes it look like you've been in the sun, camping or on a boat maybe, out in the out in the water. All right. So next, I could do some eyeshadow. Um, let's see. I have this one right here. gold and kind of a brown color on the other side or if you'd like I've got this one you could tell that I liked this color a lot but we still have um, this kind of bronze color that might be nice if you like that they're pretty shiny, pretty metallic. These, on the other hand, are a little more muted, kind of neutral. I'm um, starting with the light colors right here, going all the way to the darkest brown. So, with my eyes, um, I don't know if you can tell, but my eyes, um, I have very thin skin. You can kind of see the veins. <laughs> as weird as that may be. So I usually just go for a shade that matches my color. Um so that uh it's not as it's not as thin up there. It doesn't appear as much. Um so do you wanna pick the one that you think matches? your shade the most? That one? Okay, oh that one? Okay, yeah I can do that. Definitely. I know you don't want anything really glitzy or bold. You just kind of want to try it out, see how it feels. Alright, so I think that for this, um, let's see. Here's the brush I'm going to use. You can see it right there. So what I do is I just do a crease, then I fill it in. I go all the way to the bottom of my brow. Sometimes I even do along the bottom and I use um, a shade that's maybe uh, one shade lighter than my skin color and it makes my eyes look kind of doughy. But we can 
be kind of modest with it right now. I'll just use that color for you on my desert skin. Alright, so if you could just close your eyes, that would be great. Okay, you can open them. Good job. You are looking quite nice. Let's see. So next, this might be fun. I have Revlon Color Stay Liquid Liner, which is a pretty um, basic eyeliner not for the lips. That's called lip liner. But this is eyeliner and comes in a little bottle. This little brush is not actually um, a brush with bristles. Actually it is more of a kind of felt tip. You can draw a very straight line like that. So you can go above an eye, right on the top, my top lash line, or you could do the bottom, so right on my lower lash line, or both, and you could do the top and then flare it out a bit, or you could make it a little thicker on the top. Which one would you like? Okay, I can do that. Alright, okay. Close your eyes one more time. Okay. Perfect. Great. Okay, open your eyes. I feel kind of wet, right? Okay, well, just let them dry. Bat your eyes a little bit, as silly as I may feel. Okay, so... Lastly... I have two different types of mascara. And mascara is what goes on the eyelash. So I really like mascara because my eyelashes are kind of short, um, or at least they appear short. I think they might just be very light on the ends, and so I use mascara to make them darker and make them appear longer. So I have Great Lash. This is waterproof. The color is soft black. And I have Prestige, my biggest lash, which I bought at work one day when I forgot to put on mascara. And this color is very black. Which one do you think? would like to try. Okay. Biggest lashes. Time to go all out. Okay. So, you just untwist and kind of pops out this little brush. That's what the brush looks like even all around. Okay, so if I could just, could you tilt back a little bit? Perfect. Okay, I'm just gonna go straight for your lashes, okay? Keep your eyes a little kind of sleepy. Perfect.
Alright, I'm going to do the bottom lash too on this one. So I'm just going to come from below. Okay, perfect. Great job. Bottom lashes. Perfect. You look fantastic. Let's see if there's anything else. Okay, so I'm just going to look at here. Okay. I think you look pretty good. Do you like it? Do you like how it feels? It can kind of feel weird on your skin if you're not used to having cover up anywhere. Um, but it shouldn't be um, cakey or anything on your skin. Um, so let's see. Everything looks pretty good. Oh, it looks like part of your eyeliner smudged a bit, so I will fix that. I'll just use um, tissue. Get that from the side. Okay. So I can redo that. Okay, if you could close your eyes. on myself. Anyway, thank you so much for letting me do your makeup. It's been so much fun and I hope you let me do it again soon. Bye.